Earlier this year, I had the chance to sit down with 12-time Olympic medalist Ryan Lochte for an episode of my podcast. We talked about his rivalry with Michael Phelps over the years, his journey to fatherhood, and much more. But what you couldn't see was that Ryan was in an immense amount of discomfort, still recovering from his near-death car accident that took place just months before in November of 2023. After Ryan and I spoke on the podcast, we decided not to release the clip until Ryan was fully recovered and back to 100%, which was a long journey of perseverance and love from his family and friends. Now, in a never-before-seen clip, Ryan shares all the moments leading up to the accident and his new outlook on life. Without further ado, here's Ryan Lochte. Talk to me a little bit about that that incident, the, the car crash, um, and you know your new outlook on life now. When I said it, it took me for a doozy, um, I still have I still have some nightmares. Um, it's been a month so far. I still get scared when I like go to the car to go to like my physical therapy. I still have visions of the wreck. I still have visions of white lights flashing in my eyes, not knowing that, not knowing that I'd wake up and see my family get. But now, when I wake up. I'm so thankful. At a blink of an eye, your life can be over. I'm just so thankful that no one got injured except me. And my kids weren't in the car. I was on the way to pick them up from school. I was headed down this big street, uh, four-lane street. Um, and this trash truck was, like, parked in the middle of the street. Like, on the side, but, like, Sure. In in the street, no flashing lights, no cones, no nothing. There's just there, and the car in front of me swerved and got out. And then I immediately tried to swerve, and I clipped. I didn't really clip because I freaking ran into the damn thing, the corner of the truck. And you know that saying, um, "Built for tough." Oh yeah, best freaking car, truck out there for anyone investigators cops people that were on the other side of the road stopped my friends that were driving after picking up their kids driving home came try to come get me they were like he's dead he's dead he's not breathing he's dead blood gushing from my head still have oh. a couple stitches in there broke my femur completely broke my femur in half totaled my car my car was indented. My truck, I'm at Ford. They built a freaking beast of a truck. I had a Ford F-150 Platinum Edition. It was a beast. A beast. Uh, luckily, thank God that I only had a broken femur and a couple stitches. It's still hard for me to walk, um, but I'm doing PT. My health is there. My kids are safe. Everyone else is safe that was uh, the people that were in the truck, everyone, everyone's safe. You know how I said earlier, I wasn't really religious, but I believe someone was up there sure. and I needed that extra 5% to, for me to see it. I saw it. Yep. God was watching me and it was like, it's not your time. Scariest freaking thing I've ever been. Um, that and when my son was born, I was scared crap shitless because I didn't want to fail as a father. Being in that crash, I knew he saved me. And the investigators said, like anyone I've seen this multiple times and usually I have to go to the hospital and put your um put someone's hand in handcuffs and tie them to the bed because they were at drinking, but you weren't drinking. Um or I have to tell their like their relatives that he's dead. I can't believe how you did this, but you have a savior. And I mean, I, yeah. I guess I'm a cat that has nine lives. I don't know what life I'm on now, but <laughs> it saved hey. me. And like always, it's a bump in the road, a huge bump in the road, but I got to keep moving forward. And, and moving forward, you will. And I'm, I'm excited to hear a little bit more about your recovery in the coming months. You know, you got the swimming community behind you. 
cheering you on and we're all we're, we're wishing for the best for you riot hey you know on a little secret um my head coach from university of florida greg troy best coach in the world was checking up on me being like hey i heard you were in a wreck oh my gosh well you know the best thing for physical therapy is swimming i'm like screw you coach i'm like <laughs> i am not swimming i'm done i did it for 32 years every day of my life i'm done he was like no this is what you're gonna do you're gonna start we're gonna only go like once or twice a week and you're gonna get back in the pool and you're gonna break a world record doing masters i love that i'm like okay you're the boss i gotta get my leg better first sure sure hey all in due time all in due time 